guys, on today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your new USB stick. So once you've taken out your USB drive from your package, okay, whether it's this type of USB stick or another one, they all, all the setups are pretty much the same thing. So this one's just a little bit different than the common one, but there, all the setup for all of them is the same thing. So they will go into your USB port on your computer. So this is your USB port if you have an iMac or a MacBook Pro. Um, they all look the same basically. So all you have to do is plug it in. Okay. Just make sure not to plug it in the wrong way. This is pretty much the way that it should go in. If it's not going in for some reason, then just turn it around and try that in. Okay. So, but don't force it in. Okay. Whatever you do, do not force it in. Once you plug it in, we're gonna go to our next step. So once we have our USB drive plugged in, we should see this icon. If you don't, don't worry about it. If you go to Finder you will see it right here under devices. So that's where you're gonna see it. Um, we're gonna format it ourselves. I suggest always formatting it yourself. So we're gonna type in disk utility. Okay, under disk utility, I'm gonna go right into it. Every Mac has this program, it's pre-built. So you don't need to download it or anything like that, okay? If you have a PC, a Mac, um, maybe you have on your Mac Windows or something, you can always right click on this and you're gonna have to the option to format so it will say formatting one of these options on Mac you need this utility so once we see all this stuff these are HD so this is our computer and this is the USB drive okay from here we're just gonna click on erase and um, well before we click on erase if you click on both of these you're gonna see what it's format right now so the format that it has right now is MDOS FAT32 so that's for Windows, Mac can read that as well and write it onto it. However, I don't recommend that one, especially that option. I do recommend XFAT, especially for USB drives. For SD, where you're gonna uh, take pictures onto them and all that stuff, those you can put at MS-DOS FAT, it's not a problem, but XFAT is usually better for USB drives, okay? So I do recommend hitting that option if you want this to work for both Windows and Mac. Now, if you want something straight just for Mac, so you don't get any viruses on them or anything like that, then you want to choose Mac OS X Extended. Now, you can do an encrypted one. I don't recommend that one. I just recommend choosing the first option, okay? Um, if you just want this to work with Mac. If you plug this USB drive, once you format it like this, it will not work on a PC, okay? On a regular Windows computer, it will not read it. So that's why no viruses will transfer onto it. So that's the upside of this. Downside is that you're just gonna be limited to that. So right now we're just gonna pick XFAT, which will work for both Mac and PC. And we're just gonna name whatever we want it to be named. So at this case, I'm just gonna name it 64 gig um, USB. That's it. Drive. It's just actually just USB. Okay, then you just click on erase. Now this will delete all the data that your USB drive has, so if it's brand new, you don't have to worry about that, it's actually good. Um, okay, I didn't notice, I put 64 gig, that's funny. But um, to change the name, we can actually just not do it from here, because we're done the formatting. We can just click on it, and then press enter or return. Just click on the inside, and then change the name. So you can change the name at any time, you don't have to basically format it in order to change the name you can always change it to whatever you like okay do recommend once again changing the name so you recognize it on another computer once you plug it in okay so you recognize right away just do that um so here we're gonna see the new format it's xfat it's exactly what we want so if you go inside there will be nothing okay sometimes these usb drives or external hard drives even come with um some programs inside they take up some space so that's why I recommend just formatting it yourself and just having that USB ready to go so once it's done you can just uh, by double clicking on it like you saw you can open it up and then you can drag and drop any files onto it or just copy and paste any files in this USB drive that's it for this video, video tutorial if you guys have any questions comments please write them here below and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you